Hello gang, this is Tetsuo315 and today I'm going to demonstrate uh, my new paintball cannon. Um, what we have here is a sampling cylinder uh, used at refineries and various other types of industry uh, to pressure test or to take samples of high pressure gases and at the end there I have a regulator and an indicator valve a modified Rainbird sprinkler valve uh, there's a ball valve there that acts as a safety and a uh, modified blowgun um, just a, an ordinary shop blowgun for um, for air blow stuff off um, this new rifle incorporates blowback and uh, a bolt action design. There you can see the spring assembly and the bolt assembly. And I'll just pull the bolt back. Now the bolt won't lock in place because I have the spring in there. So I'll try to keep this in frame. Sorry guys. And that uh, reveals the uh, the breech. And uh, this is designed to th that the, uh, the pressure can go both ways for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction and that is the principle I used in, um, in making this. What I'm going to do today is, is demonstrate the blowback uh, capabilities of this and um, you sputters out there that uh, have access to lays might be able to improve upon this concept. Um, I kind of tried to go for a bolt pop design even though it's not uh, cartridge fed it's breech fed, uh, but that'll be for a, another build in the future. Alright, so what I have here are pieces of CPVC with paintballs preloaded into them. Uh, there's a bit of a wadding in there to keep it snug and secure. I'm going to um, Try to pull back the breech and hold the camera at the same time. Had to stop the, the video for a second, but uh, I already put in a cartridge. I'll let that slide forward. I'll take out the, uh, the pin because I don't want the pin to fly out. And uh, the next uh, segment will be me showing you how this operates. All right, gang, and now I will demonstrate the blowback uh, capability of this um, particular cannon. I do not have it pumped up all the way to full power, which is 145. I'll show you here that it's currently showing 70, or close to 70. Any, any more pressure, and this thing will be almost impossible to see in action. And if in case you're wondering, that pin that I'm using is not the original machine pin that I had intended for this. I lost it. So that is a um, router bit. But I'm going to keep it in place so you can see it in action. Otherwise, um, you might not notice what's going on here. All right. The paintball that I did load in there has already been fired, as I'm not um, testing damage at the moment. All right. Here we go. Firing in three, two, one. And uh, I'll do another test. All right. Blow back test number two, firing in three, two, one. All right, final blowback test number three at 60 pounds. I really want you guys to be able to see what's going on here, so I lowered it. Uh, another 10 pounds. Firing in three, two, one. All right, folks, there you have it. Blowback, no lathe needed. I, it was all hand tooled. Uh, no power tools were used. I used um, a hacksaw, razor knife, Zacto knife, um, with the exception of hand tooling. Um, different parts of the uh, of the T-section here because that is also hand-tooled. The barrel 
uh, was was cut with a, a miter saw, and so were the cartridges, so that I could get a, a nice, even, snug fit against the breech, so there wouldn't be any uh, loss of air. I'm already losing a little bit of um, uh, muzzle velocity with the effort used to blow back the barrel, but uh, the reaction happened so fast that that um, projectile or paintballs out of the barrel before this has even occurred. This uh, this action back here has even occurred. Um, I will load up the specs into the gas uh, gun design tool uh, to show you guys the um, the capabilities of this particular project, and uh, I'll also um, throw up some pictures of damage uh, um, at. Uh, 10 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet, and 40 feet. through and through and that was at 20 feet 